in the headlines. The conference on the promulgation of the Mekong Delta Regional Master Plan and Investment Promotion for the 2021-2030 period. The photo exhibition called Mekong Delta Aspirations for Development. Accelerating further the COVID-19 vaccination rate in the area. Hello and welcome to Gần Thơ News, the English news program of Gần Thơ Radio and Television Station and Top News Today. On June 21st morning, Prime Minister Phan Minh Chính chaired a conference on the promulgation of the Mekong Delta Regional Master Plan and Investment Promotion for the 2021-2030 period. With the attendance of Vice Chairman of the National Assembly Trung Thanh Mong, Deputy Prime Minister Lê Văn Thành, Central and Regional Leaders, Investors, Experts and Scientists, Secretary of Gần Thơ Municipal Party Committee Lê Quang Mạnh and Chairman of Gần Thơ City People's Committee Trung Vịt Trung joined the function. Miko Delta holds the key positions in terms of politics, social economic development, security and national defense and trading with ASEAN countries. The Miko Delta region is the country's rice bowl, the center of aquaculture and fruit production, contributing 31.37% of GDP of the agriculture sector with 50% of rice output, 65% of aquaculture output, 70% of fruit output, 95% of export rice output, and 60% of export aquaculture output, playing an essential role in ensuring the food security of the nation and export. However, the development of the Miko Delta has not yet lived up to its potential, advantage and state investment. Infrastructure has not met the development demands. Minister of Planning and Investment Nguyen Ki Yung informed the function of the highlights and the meaning of the action program for implementing Resolution No. 13 of the Party Bureau on social economic development and ensuring security and defense of the Mekong Delta region to 2030 with a vision to 2050 and orientations for implementation. According to the Minister of Industry and Trade Nguyen Hong Ying, to timely overcome the shortcomings of the Mekong Delta region, in time to come, the Industry and Trade Ministry will accompany ministry and localities in implementing certain missions that boost sustainable agricultural and rural area development, proactive adaptation to climate change, to materialize the missions aside for the whole sector, being a foundation for the synchronous and rough implementation in the whole sector from central to the regional level. After announcing the Miko Delta Regional Master Plan, a ceremony for conferring the planning documents and sponsoring memorandums were also organized. Accordingly, Prime Minister Phan Minh Yin, Deputy Prime Minister Le Văn Thanh, and the Planning and Investment Ministry presented the planning documents to leaders of 13 cities and provinces in the Mekong Delta region so that the localities can research programs and action programs. The conference also announces the memorandums of understanding, cooperation, and sponsoring for certain programs and projects for developing infrastructure and implementing the planning of six development banks to unify a list of projects for the sustainable development of the Mekong Delta region and adapting to climate change in the 2021-2025 phase, backed by ODA capital and concessional loans from foreign sponsors with committed capital of 2.2 billion US dollars. Thereby, the government acknowledged their companionship and wished that the investors and business associations at home and abroad, as well as partners, would join hands to implement the program and investment projects that are of great importance in regional development and linkage. The photo exhibition called Miko Delta Aspirations for Development, which is jointly organized by the Planning and Investment Ministry, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, and the Vietnam Association of Photographic Artists, opened on June 21st morning in Gần City. Within the framework of the Conference on the Promulgation of the Miko Delta Regional Master Plan and Investment Promotion for the 2021-2030 period, the exhibition features more than 120 works of art, selected from photo contests and photography artists, introducing and honoring the beauty of the land and the people of the Mekong Delta, depicting the beauty of the cultural and spiritual life with values imbued with the national identity of the people in the region. With works of all types of photography, like landscape, portrait or daily life, the exhibition is a comprehensive and colorful picture depicting the natural beauty of the Mekong Delta. Through the artworks, the audience will have a multi-dimensional view of the people and the certain countryside, with the bright colors of life being renewed and developed day by day. 
In addition to the artworks, the master plan map of the Mekong Delta region was also displayed so that businesses and investors can learn about the investment opportunities in the region. Moving on with other news. Also on June 21st morning, Standing Vice Chairman of Canton City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing and a mission group to work with the People's Committee of Nanke District on the implementation of the public investment plan in the first five months of 2022. In 2022, Ninke District was assigned nearly 266 billion Vietnam dong. By June 19, about 155 billion Vietnam dong, or 42%, has been disbursed, basically meeting the target assigned at the beginning of the year. However, the construction of projects is still slow due to impacts of increased material prices, difficulties in compensation and ground clearance work. The district suggested supplying capital of over 2.5 billion Vietnam dong for the renovation of five key traffic hubs, decreasing the capital amount of the Ninkyu resettlement project from 145 billion Vietnam dong to nearly 35 billion Vietnam dong and reallocating this amount for eight on-time projects. Standing Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing asked the People's Committee of Ninkyu District to select reliable consultation units, pay attention to supervision work, and enhance collaboration between concerned agencies to resolve remaining difficulties. He also agreed with the proposal of the district on capital reallocation. On June 21st afternoon, a delegation of the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs, led by its deputy head Le Xiong Hai, visited and offered presents to the collectives with outstanding achievements in ethnic minority affairs, accredited persons and ethnic minority households in Ninke District. At the meeting, Deputy Head of the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs Le Xiong Hai asked about the adverse effects that the COVID-19 pandemic caused ethnic minority peoples and encouraged them to overcome the difficulties to stabilize their living while joining labor and production to contribute to society and the city's development. On this occasion, the delegation offered the collective of Tung Eng Wat presents for its excellent accomplishments in ethnic minority affairs. 100 accredited persons, poor and policy classified households of ethnic minorities of Ninkyu District were also offered presents of 500,000 Vietnam dong each. Enhanced publicity work to accelerate the COVID-19 vaccination rate of the third and fourth shots for all classes of people in the area. That was the guideline Vice Chairman of Gunther City People's Committee Nguyen Thuc Hing given to the health sectors and departments as well as the people committees of the districts at the meeting took place on June 21st afternoon. Accordingly, leader of the City People's Committee directed the Department of Health, the Department of Education and Training and the Department of Industry and Trade to immediately implement measures and plans to administer COVID-19 vaccines of the third and fourth shots to the sector staff, as well as to workers in export processing zones and industrial parks located in the area. At the same time, the People's Committee of the Districts, besides organizing vaccine injections at fixed locations, vaccination should be brought to each hamlet, area and each household to further improve the vaccination rate in the area, especially for people over 18 years old. As of June 20, 2022, the rate of receiving three doses of COVID-19 vaccine for people over 18 years old in the area reached 84.48%. The fourth dose was only given to more than 31,400 people. And now is the time for weather updates. Weather information has also wrapped up this edition of Gunther News. To watch our bulletins again, you can log on to our website at guntertv.vn. And now thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye and see you next time.